How to open and integrate a proton and a Mars spectrum. So, once you have downloaded your spectrum from the email, you will be inside Top Spin. You will find your notebook number located on the side and maximize this folder. You will then find the appropriate spectrum. For protons, this should generally be a multiple of 10. You will double click that folder and then double click the icon that pops up. From there, you can see that uh, Topspin has tried to be helpful and inter done integrations and peak picking for you. The problem is it doesn't know which peaks are actually important to integrate and if you zoom in, you can see that any little blip off the baseline it claims as a peak, even when your actual compound peaks are much, much taller than those little blips. In order to rectify this, you will start from the full view of the spectrum, and then you will click this little interactive integration button, shown as the staircase right here. Clicking this will allow you to integrate your protons. So integration is establishing how many protons each peak, pick, each peak is worth. Since Topspin tried to do its best but actually failed, what you're going to do is you're going to click this little green select all regions button and then this one with the big X through it to get rid of them all. You will then unclick this button and now as you can see, you have a nice blank spectra to work from. The first peak you pick will automatically be integrated to 1. In my case, I don't have any proton peaks that integrate to 1, so we will address that as I integrate this first peak. To integrate a peak, you will go to this little sideways type bracket, which is the very first button on this toolbar, and click peaks should be picked shoulder to shoulder. See how it integrates to one? Well, this is actually a peak for two because it's, a it's two protons of this parasubstituted benzene ring. So what I do is I right click and hit calibrate current integral. I know that this peak should be inter integrated to two, so I type that value in. From there, it'll reference this area and all other peaks to it. To uh, slide further down the spectrum, you can use this double-headed arrow, which you click and drag. Here's a peak, but it is the peak for the solvent, which in my case is chloroform, and it's located at 7.26, so you do not integrate it, so you continue sliding down. This sliding is taking too long, so I want to zoom out to view more of the spectra, so I can use this little magnifying glass with the zoom minus arrow. There we go, there's my next peak. But now it's too far zoomed out. You cannot click and drag to zoom in while this button is checked. See, so, so you will have to unclick this first button so it's no longer green and then you can click and drag to zoom in and see the shoulders of your peak better. From there, you re-click the button, click on the left, click and drag, and let go to integrate that peak. Continue sliding, there's my next peak. Click, drag, let go. Zoom out some more, slide. This could be a peak, but if I look at the chart above of the laptop in the Donahue group, you can learn that this is probably actually a water peak and not of any significant importance, so it does not get integrated. From there, you will hit this little floppy disk icon with the down, down and to the left pointing arrow to save your changes. Now you can pick eek pick. To do this, you click the little icon next to the staircase for integration, which has three little bars and that arrow pointing at the peak. This will let you peak pick. If you ever want to view the full spectrum, you can click this little magnifying glass with the A in it, and it will take you to view full spectrum. Note that how 
how you can see that Topspin has peak picked is to pick every single little data point above the baseline using this green region. This is not what you need, so you can click this delete all peak picking ranges and that green box should disappear. Note that it goes into the peak picking mode automatically, which means any clicking and dragging will automatically be at peak picking range and not zooming in or out. To zoom in, you must unclick this, click left, hold, drag, and you can now zoom in. By clicking this, you have now entered peak picking mode. Click high above the top of your peak and drag down and to the right so that the tops of each peak are underneath and are inside the green box. Then let go and it will have picked each peak. Continue sliding down the line. Again, we know this is chloroform, so it's not of importance and we're not integrating it. There's my next peak. Note how I always leave plenty of space between the top of the box and the top of the peak. This is to ensure that the top of the peak is picked. If you bring it too close, it may not pick the top of the peak. And last one. From there, you hit say the same save icon and you return to the main screen. By hitting the A in the magnifying glass again, you can view this full spectrum. So you can see that this peak that's water has not been picked, this TMS peak, and this solvent peak were left untouched. They're neither integrated nor picked. If you look at the spectra, you can make sure that it makes sense for how many protons you should have. In my case, it does. From there, you go to File, Print, and you're going to hit this drop down right here and find 1H peaks underscore MGD. Click. Make sure that these two boxes are set to print with layout, start plot editor, and use plot limits as saved in plot editor and hit OK. From there, the plot editor should pop up. If not, a molecule looking structure should appear as one of the icons on the toolbar and you will click that to enter the editor. As you can see all of the tops of these peaks go off the page which is not what we want to see. So we shall click this and three and six green boxes should appear. Little green boxes should appear around the edge. From there, you can click 1D, 2D, edit, and use this set of arrows right here, where they're pointing up and down and face down, to change the scale of your peak. So you click and drag to make them taller, click and increase height, click and drag upwards to increase height. We want them just at the top of the page, and if you have any particularly tall singlets, you can send them off the top of the page so that the other peaks are larger. From there you hit close. You will then go to file export and it shall be the notebook number space 1H and in this case I'm adding the word pure because it's a nice clean compound and you'll hit save and hit OK again. From there, you are done with your proton spectrum.